to the Kennedy Center! <laughs> Unbelievable! Wow! My name is Mo Willem. <laughs> and I... <laughs> am a balloon salesman. Oh, no work. All right. Try again. My name is Mo Willems. And I am a corporate attorney specializing in tax affairs. All right, let's try one more time. My name is Mo Willems. And I am an author illustrator. Yes! And that is really cool because that means I have something in common with you guys. Do you guys like to make up stories? Do you like to draw? Well, then you are author illustrators just like me. Yeah, that's cool. The only difference between what you do and what I do is that you don't have to give a percentage to a woman named Marsha. <laughs> but I'm so excited to be here today because you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna read stories, we're gonna sing songs, we're gonna draw, and we have this amazing cast of the Storytime All-Stars. Yeah, they're amazing. So kids, here's the thing about Storytime All-Stars. They're very famous, they're very, very funny, but you really should have no idea who they are <laughs> or any familiarity with their work. Seriously, guys, kids, if you recognize any of them, your parents are doing it wrong. <laughs> but they're so nice and they are so funny, so let's pretend like we're excited that they're here, okay? Yeah, right, okay, here we go. Our extensive and wide-ranging music and special effects department, Mr. Fred Newman. <laughs> Let's give a big, sure, we know who you are. Welcome to Tony Hale. <laughs> You know what would be awesome? Discovering the comedy stylings of someone like Yvette Nicole Brown. <laughs> now I know you didn't see him in that thing because that thing was not G-rated <laughs> at all. But how cool is it that we have Mr. Thomas Lennon? 
<laughs> you know, I bet that somewhere out there there's a funny person named Rachel Dratch. <laughs> You know who sounds like they might be a nice person? Oscar Nunez! <laughs> a show like this would not be completely awesome if we didn't have Greta Lee. What? One day, when you're much, much older, you'll be a fan of Cameron Esposito! <laughs> what the? Now, what are the chances that someone you shouldn't have heard of but is a really big deal is here? Pretty good. If that someone is Anthony Anderson, There's more? There can't be unless it's Natalie Morales! <laughs> the stars are all stars! Oh, wow! What an amazing cast of total strangers. All right, do you guys want to hear a story? All right, and let's start with. Leonardo, the hey, terrible. Hey, hey. What? What? No, no, no. What? No, no. We rehearsed and we said we're doing Leonardo. No, the pigeon oh, most. No. What are we doing first? Oh, what? What? I don't even. I don't. What? I don't. I don't see it. Wait a minute here. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Pigeon, what are you doing here? Scram! I'll be back. <laughs> Your pal, Mo Willems, presents Leonardo the Terrible Monster. By me. Leonardo was a terrible monster. Big sigh. He couldn't scare anyone. Blaggy, blaggy, scare. Aww, so cute. <laughs> He didn't have 1,642 teeth like Tony. I have a lot of teeth, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> Not all teeth shown. He wasn't big like Eleanor. <laughs> it's a living! <laughs> And he wasn't just plain weird like Hector. Flippy floppy bloopy boopy pants. Abba zabba zow zinga. Leonardo tried very hard to be scary. Blah. No, 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 no. Ooh. I'm in a bag. But he just wasn't. Uh. One day, Leonardo had an idea. He would find the most scaredy cat kid in the whole world and scare the tuna salad out of him. Tuna salad! Leonardo researched. Too passive. <laughs> Arr, too aggressive. Choose me or not, I don't care. Too passive aggressive. <laughs> Until he found the perfect candidate. <laughs> Sam! Leonardo snuck up on the poor, unsuspecting boy. <laughs> Sneak. Sneak. Sneaky sneak. Sneaky sneaky sneak. And the monster gave it all he had. <laughs> Until the little boy cried. <laughs> yes! Cheered Leonardo. I did it! 
I finally scared a tuna salad out of someone. <laughs> no, you didn't. Snap, Sam. Oh, yeah? Replied Leonardo. Why are you crying? My mean big brother stole my action figure right out of my hands while I was still playing with it, and then he took it on purpose, and it was my favorite toy, and I tried to fix it, but I couldn't, and I got so mad, I kicked the table, and I stubbed my toe on the same foot, and it, it hurt so much, I accidentally slipped on the bathtub after I got soap in my eyes trying to wash out the bird poop, that my brother's cockatoo pumped up my head, and I don't have any friends, and my tummy hurts! Wow! Ladies and gentlemen, Tony Hale! Tony Hale! Then Leonardo made a very big decision. Instead of being a terrible monster, he would become a wonderful friend. <sighs> it's okay. Oh. Wow. Mm -hmm. friend every now and then. Yeah. Boom. Ah! <laughs> That's a good question. Okay, so here's the answer. It all depends on how you pronounce it. <laughs> now, actually, I pronounce it knuffel because knuffel is a Dutch word. It means hug or snuggle. And my family is originally from Holland. <gasps> okay, that makes sense. Is knuffel bunny a true story? Oh, that's a very good question, Oscar. Thank you. <laughs> How many people in the audience think that Knuffle Bunny is a true story? Raise your hand. Oh, all right. How many people think that I made up the story of Knuffle Bunny? Raise your hand. Oh, cool. All right. All right, here's the real answer. Everything in the Knuffle Bunny stories is true, except for the parts that I made up. And that's a great thing about making up stories. You can start with something that's real and then just make stuff up and get away with it, right? <laughs> For instance, you can make up a story like this. You can make up a story called The Day I Met Mo Willem. <laughs> Go a little like this. Today was an awesome day. I saw Mo Willems at the Kennedy Center. Mo was funny. Yeah? Mo was cool. Well, yeah. Right. Yeah. Mo was a snazzy dresser. Yeah. And modest. Yeah. Firm no. All right, but mostly Mo was wise. And we established. Okay. Well, while Mo was on stage in this particular story, being really funny and cool and wise, his head popped off. Ouch! Oh, it's okay, Anthony, it's okay, because he grew another one. <laughs> and that one popped off. Oh, ouch again! No, 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 it was okay again, because he grew another one. <laughs> that popped off. And another, and another, and another, and another, and another, until the whole Kennedy Center started to fill up with the will of this head. Luckily, I had my surfboard with me, so I jumped on top of the wave of Mo Willems' head. I burst out of the Kennedy Center, went all the way through Washington, D.C., until the Supreme Court building. <laughs> the end. Are you guys ready to hear this 
kind of made up, kind of true story? All right. Here we go. Before we even begin, we see all these important pictures from this real, not real family's life. It's a man and a woman, and they're getting married. And here are the man and woman again, and it looks like they just had a baby. <laughs> that baby is crying. And now the man and the woman are in front of a house. And there's Trixie hugging her Knuffle Bunny. Knuffle Bunny, a cautionary tale. By me. Not so long ago, before she could even speak words, Trixie went on an errand with her daddy. Trixie and her daddy went down the block. Well, I, I got. Uh-huh. <laughs> through the park. Naga. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, Past the school. <laughs> and into the laundromat. <gasps> Zunga. Trixie helped her daddy put the laundry into the machine. La la la, wicky wacky, wickle, zam zam. She even got to put the money into the machine. <laughs> Clacky, wee. <laughs> Ooh, then they left. But a block or so later... Trixie realized something. <gasps> Trixie turned to her daddy and said, Aggle, flaggle, flaggle. Yeah, that's right, replied her daddy. We're going home. <laughs> Aggle, flaggle, flaggle, blaggle, flaggle, said Trixie again. Wumpy flappy? Oh, snap. Now come on, please don't get fussy. Said her daddy. Well, she had no choice. Trixie bald. Ah! She went boneless. <laughs> she did everything she could to show how unhappy she was. By the time they got home... Her daddy was unhappy, too! <laughs> As Trixie's mommy opened the door, she said... Where's Knuffle Bunny? The whole family ran down the block. It's okay, it's gonna... And they ran through the park! They zoom past the school. Uh, everything's fine. And into the laundromat. Trixie's daddy looked for Knuffle Bunny. And looked. And looked. And looked. And looked. But Knuffle Bunny was nowhere to be found. So Trixie's daddy decided to look harder. Yes, he did. Until... Ah! Get the ball, buddy! And, and those were the first words that Trixie ever said. Ah. That dramatic story has inspired me to uh, sing a dramatic song. <laughs> a song of Trixie's heartache and pain. A song that needs to be sung <laughs> by me. This song is dedicated to all of the stuffies out there. You know who you are, even if you don't know where you are. Aggle, flaggle, clabble, wumpy, floppy, snurp. Aggle, flaggle, clabble, wumpy, flabble, snurp. Kippy, cloppy, dip the new, sink up, bit, bit, fool. Got 
do it as a sing-along. Oh, I love sing-alongs. Oh, I love sing-alongs. I love sing-alongs, and I have ears. <laughs> All right, uh, now kids, uh, if you can't read the words, don't worry, just make them up. Huh, Mo did. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys are in luck because according to regulation ABC-15, every children's book author is required to produce at least one alphabet book in his or her career. And mine is entitled A Busy Creatures Day Eating. Oh, that's me! That's me! Raise your hands. You guys ready for a story? All right. There we go. Creature, look! There's the alphabet. <gasps> Spoiler alert! Hey! hey apple! <gasps> B! Berries! <gasps> C! Donut, 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 Oh, commando! L. Lunch 
box. It's the least important meal of the day. Yeah. Mayonnaise. Oh. Oh, that's, that's disgusting. Saltines. So, XO, XO. Mwah, mwah, mwah. And Y. Yawn. Z. Zonked. Z. 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 All right, we did that one by the letter. I'm a dad, I am someone's dad, I can say things like that. Would you like to hear one of my favorite books? Featuring one of my favorite characters, favorite character, all time favorite characters. The what? The, uh, what? No, 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 it's a favorite book. Ah! it already. Waiting is not easy. That's right. I was talking about waiting is not easy. Sorry, Elephant of Biggie. One of my favorite books. Aw, feathers. Okay. You guys ready for a story? Yeah! Yeah! Waiting is not easy. Oh, by me. What is it? The surprise is a surprise. Oh, is it big? Yes. Is it pretty? Yes. Can we share it? Yes. I cannot wait. You will have to. What? Wait, why? The surprise is not here yet. So I will have to wait for it? Yes. Groan! Oh well, if I have to wait, I will wait. I am waiting. Waiting is not easy. Piggy, I want to see your surprise now! I'm sorry, Gerald, but we must wait. Groan! I am done waiting! I do not think your surprise is worth all this waiting. I will not wait anymore. Okay, I will wait some more. 
It will be worth it. Grown! <laughs> Piggy! We have waited too long! It's getting dark. It is getting darker. Soon we will not be able to see each other. Soon we will not be able to see anything. We have wasted the whole day. Well, um. We have waited and waited and waited and waited. And for what? For that. This was worth the wait. I know. Tomorrow morning, I want to show you the sunrise. I cannot wait. Z. Ladies and gentlemen, a song from the Elephant and Piggy musical, We Are In a Play. always better with elephant in the room. You're a present, but not from the store. Your mere presence is what I adore. Well, thank you, Piggy. Yes, it's a big boon to my morale. Having you for my best pal. Oh, that's nice. You bring me joy, yes, and I won't lie. Love having piggy in my sty. Life's better for this guy with a piggy in my sty. I love your hooves and your snout. You make my life more fun. You know what you are all about. You give it that zip and zoom. I feel so happy. And life I know is why. With, with a piggy in, in my sty. What a big boom to my morale. My pal is great big Having you for my best pal. my joys and fears. Life's so much better for I this big be guy. I could be because he's better. This song's a love letter. This song's a love letter. Look, guys. 
I'm knitting a sweater. I love Irish setters. The, the best is a cheddar. Life is always better when you're in the room. Now it is time for something really exciting. We are all going to draw one of my characters together. And we are going to draw... What? No, no. That's right, we are going to draw the pigeon. But why do you keep saying pigeon? I don't understand exactly what's going on here. Oh! Pigeon! Hi, Mom! What are you doing here? Don't you know the title of the show is Don't Let the Pigeon Do Story Time? Don't let the pigeon do story time? Ah, feathers. Oh, a, a pigeon, pigeon. What? Don't, don't be too sad. Listen, how about this as a deal? What? We will read a special story okay. just for you after the drawing demonstration. Drawing? <gasps> I love drawing. I started out as one, you know. Yeah, I, actually, I did. I oh, was, you were there? I was there, yeah. I remember. All right. The guy with the hand. Yeah, that's <laughs> the one with the pen. All right, let's get drawing. The cast and crew are going to go out into the audience and hand out paper and crayons for everybody. Oh, I'm, I'm It'll be mine. awesome. And if you are watching on a screen, you press pause, not yet, but go out, grab some pencils or paper and crayons, and make sure you get some for the grown-ups in the room. Okay, you ready? We're gonna pause and pause. Unpause. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. The pigeon, the pigeon is gonna draw with you and the grown-ups. Is that okay? Yeah, I got my, my crayon all and right. my paper already. All right. So anybody can draw a cartoon. A cartoon is just a bunch of shapes put together in the right order, right? All you have to know is how to write your name because your name is a bunch of letters put together in the right order. And letters are shapes that you know how to draw. So when you're writing your name, you're making a cartoon. Oh, wait, here's the other thing. Oh, I forgot this, this is really important. Your drawing will look better if you have fun. All right. On the top of our page, we're gonna draw a big letter O. Letter O. Good. Now, inside that letter O, we're going to draw a second smaller letter O. Letter O. Letter O. It kind of looks like a donut. Woo. Okay, now you have the choice between the letter M for Mo or the letter W for Willems. Your choice. <laughs> Do it sideways. Letter M and you have a beak. Now we have come to the most important part of the drawing, where the eyeball goes. The eye is the window of the soul. If I draw a character with a smile but sad eyes, they're still sad. So. If I put my eye up here, he's cheeky. If I put my eye down here, he's sad. If I put my eye in the middle, he's freaked out. <laughs> All right, I'm in the Kennedy Center, dressed for me fancily, with some amazing talent. I'm going for freaked out, I'm going in the middle. You draw yours where you want to. But darken it in, darken it in. Because you always look at the darkest part of a drawing first, and I want you to see the eye first, okay? We have two lines going down for the neck. Er -up, 
And he's got the idea. Did you hear it go? You know why he did that? Very important reason. Because it's fun. How many chances in the day do you get to go and get away with it, right? All right. Let's do two across for the collar. Ready? Now we have come to my favorite shape because I invented it. It's the Mo Willems patented cirque angle. What's a cirque angle, you ask? What's a cirque angle? A cirque angle is a circle that halfway through its life changes its mind and decides to become a triangle. Ready, here we go. Oh, I'm a circle, 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 I'll just be a triangle. <laughs> All right. You guys got the idea. Let's do two more lines to get those erupt erupts in. Ready? Erupt. 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 Okay. My favorite expression is va va boom. We do the three V's. The first two little ones are feet. Letter V va. Letter V va. Va. And now a long one for the wing. A va boom. Va boom. <laughs> you think we're done? No, not yet. We forgot the most important part. Write your name oh. so everyone knows that you made this drawing. Duh. Right? Duh. Wow. Okay, everybody, hold up your pigeons. Let me see those pigeons. Wow. That's great. I love it. I love it. Oh, that's awesome, Cam. Hey, pigeon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you mind if I oh, show your pigeon? Let me, let me just finish. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, go ahead. All right. Hey, guys, you want to see the pigeons drawing? Yeah. Here we go. Pretty good. That's, that's how I see myself. <laughs> yeah. Not what I expected, but it's great. Thank you. Okay, I have a question. Does your pigeon look like mine? No, that's a good thing. That means you draw on your own personal drawing style. So let's say maybe you're someone, can I borrow this drawing? Maybe you're someone who likes to draw big heads, right? That's very good, thank you. Or, oh, maybe you're someone who likes to draw small birds and their name really big, right? That's great. Maybe you're someone who's influenced by Cy Twombly, right? That's really great, thank you. Or let's see, oh, maybe you're someone who just can't stop making drawings. Look at all these drawings. Oh my goodness. This one's very realistic as well. I like yours. How about you guys up there on the balcony? Can I see? Oh, wow, and on the second balcony, I see you guys. Those are incredible. What I love about all these pigeons is that they all look so different, and that means that you guys are creating and developing your own personal drawing style. Now, for you grown-ups, it's too late. No, it isn't, it isn't really. Please draw, please get caught drawing with your kids. It is a physicalized form of empathy. One more time, do you guys mind holding up your pictures? Let's see those pictures. Wow! Look at that! It's crazy, the amount of pictures! It's so awesome! Wow! Everybody, give yourself a big round of applause for Jeff Lovegaard. Are we finally ready for my story? Yes, yes. It looks like you're ready for it. Oh, this whole thing? Oh, I <laughs> built it in my backyard. All right. <laughs> All right. So, Pigeon, this is our last story, so I think it should be a really good one. Do you have I any think so, too. Do you have any ideas? I would like to read from the classic, The Pigeon Gets Everything He Wants Exactly When He Wants It. <laughs> and its various sequels and spin-offs. <laughs> well, I, uh, I don't think I've written that book. Well, you should have. Get to it, a up, up boy. <laughs> okay, well... 
I actually thought for a last story that the audience would like to hear this book. Don't let the pigeon drive the bus. I see. Yeah, personally, I find that book to be a downer, but fine. Here's a question for my audience. Can you say no? No! The answer is yes, I can say no, but that's fine. That was good. Let's hear you say no! Oh, come on, pigeons have little ears. Let's hear you say no! Pigeons can be very persuasive. Let's hear you say no! You guys are ready. Okay, here we go. I... I'm gonna be the bus driver, okay? Okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, Mo. Yeah. Who should I be? Uh, I was kind of thinking, um, the pigeon. Narrow casting choice, but okay. All right, are you ready for a story? Yeah. Go. driver. I've got to leave for a little while, so can you watch things for me until I get back? Sure, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yes. Uh -huh. Thanks. Oh, and remember, don't, don't let, let a pigeon me. drive the bus. <laughs> la, 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 la. La, 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 la. You know, I haven't really figured out where I'm going. I'm just going. Would you get out of here already? Huh. He'd never leave. Do 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 da 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 da. Say, uh, can I drive the bus? No. Please. No. Yeah, I'll be careful. No. Okay, I, okay, I, I, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I will just steer. No. My cousin Herb drives the bus almost every day. No. But, but it's a true story. No. Vroom, 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 vroom. Pigeon at the wheel. No. No. I never get to do anything. Ooh, I got an idea. Let's play drive the bus. I'll go first. Yeah. Oh, come on. Just once around the block. Yeah. We have now reached the rapid fire round. I'll be your best friend. Yeah. How about give you five bucks? Yeah. What's the big deal? Yeah. It's just a bus. Yeah. No fear. I bet your mom would let me. Yeah. I have dreams, you know. Yeah. Fine. No. Fine. No. No. You didn't let the pigeon drive the bus, did you? Yeah. Great, thanks a lot. <laughs> All my dreams reversing out of my life. Hey, can I drive that truck? Before we go, please,
Can I ask anyone in this Kennedy Center space who is a teacher or librarian to raise their hands? <laughs> Teachers and librarians, raise your hands. I want you to keep them up because I want you to see what it's like. <laughs> yeah, not so easy, is it? Uh, yeah, I'm not going to give you my attention now. It hurts a little bit there. But I still don't see you now. All right, everybody else, give these guys a round of applause. Thank them for what they do every day. Thank you. And thank Mr. Fred Newman. <laughs> the Pigeon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The Storytime All-Stars. Oh, yes. Amazing. And thank you. A book doesn't work unless you read it. Thank you. Big day today. We had a big show and you guys all did great. Okay, so get some rest. We'll see you. Okay, sleep tight.
That was fun. Yeah. Scooty scoot scoot. I will subscribe to the Mo Willems Workshop channel. <laughs>